So it's been nearly three weeks since the tornado, nearly eight months since Hurricane Ida, and parts of St. John Parish are still recovering. WGNO's Jordan Lippincott shows you where homeowners are finding some hope. Kurt and Susie were just two months away from hurricane season and where I'm standing, a gutted home, is still a very normal scene here in Laplace. Fortunately, the nonprofit Eight Days of Hope partnered with Marathon Petroleum and a couple of St. John Parish groups to get people back into their homes. A lot of it's a free for all. We, we come in, we don't know what's going on and we just do as much as we can and it's, it's a blitz. From painting homes to repairing roofs, the group is hoping to assist 150 homeowners in the parish. Uh, up until Saturday morning, all of the debris and everything from the roof that caved in was still in my house. That same day, Laplace resident Stephen Riley was put into contact with Eight Days of Hope and was able to move inside this FEMA trailer. But once they started dealing with it and started contacting people, it moved. It got done. Marathon Petroleum is footing the bill as part of their Celebrating Resiliency and a Brighter Tomorrow campaign. Uh, since September of 2021, we've provided nearly $2.5 million in investments right here in St. John the Baptist Parish, and this is just one part of it. A spokeswoman for Eight Days of Hope says their mission is clear. They not only want to help people rebuild their homes, but we need to be able to give them something that can't be taken away by storms. We want to give them the hope of Jesus. And, and homeowners are in awe of these volunteers. And they, they have been going, I can't, I can't thank them enough. If you're in St. John Parish and in need of repairs, visit stjohnrecovery.com. I'll have that information on our website as well. Kurt, Susie. And Jordan says that eight days of hope will be in St. John Parish until Saturday.